Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for this afternoon's video. I hope you're all well. So ladies and gents, I'm not going to keep you too long today. This is just a midweek filler video. I've literally just finished work myself and I thought you might be interested to see what arrived on my doormat this morning. Now, if you're watching this video yourself and you are an avid bushcrafter just like me, you will know the importance of having a quality pair of gloves as part of your kit. They keep your hands protected when using tools when you're working around a campfire and when you're collecting firewood. And a quality pair of gloves such as the Helicontext Woodcrafter gloves here just offer you good generalised protection for your hands. Now I have tested and enjoyed many a glove over many a year practising bushcraft. Um, probably starting off with your generalised hardware grey gardening gloves. Then I moved up to a buffalo hide with a red liner glove. Um, I called them the gauntlets. Then we moved on to the mechanics gloves. I do not rate them at all. And this was pretty much the, the glove I settled on for the last four or five years. And it has been, in all honesty, a fantastic glove. It's kept me protected around the fires, like I say, pulling coals out, um, using the tools, collecting firewood. And they have worn in really, really well. They've got a nice patina now. And over four or five years of very extensive use, it has finally succumbed to one of the thumbs, uh, just wearing away to the point where that needs repairing. Now, since Christmas, I have been looking on the hunt for another pair of gloves and without any more prattling on, let's open the packet. Now I usually do this sort of video from the comfort of my armchair on the coffee table, but I thought absolutely fantastic weather today. Let's get out and enjoy it. So, there we go, as you can see there, that is the brand of glove inside. Now, if you are from the UK, you will know that that translates to something totally different over here. And crud actually means crap or rubbish in the UK. <laughs> so I hope I've just not bought a pair of crap gloves. But these are from Gothenburg, Sweden. Let's get inside the packets. So in the envelope, guys, we have a lovely brown wax packet and hopefully the gloves are inside. We have a couple of cards. That is the brand of glove I've gone for, the Moog. And we have a bit of writing on the back of these, which we'll read now quickly. Made from high quality leather and hand finished with our special blend of wax, fats and oils, the Moog gloves will only become better with time and use. Due to the extensive multiple step finishing process, each pair of glove will have unique colour and feel. Sustainability is at the core of everything that we create. In a world where everything is being mass produced at a rapid pace, we take pride in making gear the slow way, the right way. Using only the best natural materials available, we create high quality goods without disrespecting nature. Thanks for supporting old fashioned craftsmanship. Very nice. <laughs> now they are absolutely stunning and look worryingly small for my hands. <laughs> But off the bat, what do you reckon guys? They look absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely stunning. So the thing about this glove is the actual seam is on the outside of the glove rather than internally. So these should make for a nice comfortable fit. Um, presuming they do fit my hands, which we're going to try now. Oh, like a glove. Yeah, they're lovely. Perfect fit. Absolutely stunning. Look at that, guys. What do you reckon? Let me know down in the comments, as usual. But just the patina on them straight away. They already look like they've seen an age in bushcraft. Now, they do feel quite tacky from new. Um, you can definitely feel that wax coating they've put on there to protect the glove, and that should offer some nice um, water repellency as well. Stitching looks good around the glove. Everything is where it should be. Just having a quick look over. I do like the welds on the glove here. And again, just try the right angle. They do look vintage straight off the bat with no use at all. Very nice. Lovely jubbly. 
So on top of the glove there you can see we have a couple of metal loop inserts for attaching a carabiner. Um, so you can attach these to your belt or your pack. Inside we have the crud emblem stitched into a label there. And the top of the actual wristband is um, elasticated. So it does offer uh, some grip around your wrist, stopping any debris getting in there. But I wouldn't say it's as good as the Helicon Tets glove. On the cuff of this one, obviously, you've got the strap which can pull around your wrist and that will stop any uh, wood chips or any bits getting into the glove. But um, I don't know, guys, what do you think? So, guys, the crud moulds are going to be replacing the Helicon Tex Wood Crafter gloves in my kit. And I can already tell I'm going to love these every bit as much as I did the, or do, the Helicon Tex. Um, like I say, they can be repaired and they will give me many more years service. I'll throw them in probably a generalised bushcraft kit, but these will be best of place. Cost of the glove, if you're interested, these are actually a very, very early Father's Day present from my uh, very kind missus. And she managed to pick these up from a site in Sweden. And with combined postage, when it was all converted to pounds, I think she managed to pick these up for around £98. It is an expensive piece of kit, admittedly, but it is coming out of Sweden. And in my opinion, anything coming from the home of Bushcraft is going to be quality. Right, you awesome folk, you. So, that is pretty much all I've got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed that little look at my new kit gloves and again you'll see them used throughout the videos now so do let me know down in the comments what you think of them compared to the Helicon text and I, uh, I hope to see you real soon for the next one so until the next one you stay safe and as always stay crafty see you again guys bye bye